Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you how I make my iced coffee concentrate. There's no real exact science to it, but this is how I do mine. <laughs> I don't get real overly picky about what kind of coffee I use. This is just the Maxwell House Original Blend or Original Roast. And I got this with a coupon. I think I stacked a couple coupons and it was already on sale to begin with. So I got this for a really good price. Tried it in my percolator and we didn't really like it that much, but I knew if we didn't really like it as a brewed coffee, hot coffee to drink, that I could always make my coffee concentrate with it and it would be fine. And I was right. It's perfectly fine. You don't have to have like a real expensive coffee to do this. It's about probably about a third of it left, so it, it makes really nice flavored iced coffee. I'm going to try it this time in a great big jar. Usually I will use my smaller um, 24 ounce jar for, for the coffee concentrate, but it's nice outside now, and when it's nice outside, I tend to like to drink more iced coffee, so I'm going to make a bigger batch of it this time. All right, here we go. One cup this is a one cup measuring cup. Ooh, I'm spilling it all over. I usually don't use the one cup. I usually use a half cup or a quarter cup so I don't spill it all over the place. Two cups of coffee grounds. I also don't have water in the door of my fridge, so I don't have filtered water that way. And I don't have any gallon jugs of purified water right now, so I'm just going to use these uh, little water bottles with the purified water. Let me put the lid on. This is going to need to sit at least eight hours, up to 24 hours. I always leave it somewhere between 12 and 24 hours. Don't put it in the refrigerator or anything, just leave it sit out on your counter. And after at least 12 hours, I'm gonna come back and show you what I do next. <laughs> I don't like my iced coffee watered down, and I tend to sip it, so I don't, I don't necessarily chug it before the ice melts all the time, so I like to make ice cubes out of coffee. I like to put, I put my coffee in this or else I spill it all over the place. I have my favorite coffee ice cubes. I've tried brewed coffee into ice cubes before and I don't like it as well. When it starts to melt you get the flavor of the coffee in there, of the ice cubes in there. So this is what I like the best. This is from Aldi's. It's Simply Nature. It's organic K-cups. A medium roast, extra bold, whatever. Um, I have a Keurig 2.0. They tend to be a little picky about K-Cups sometimes if they're not actually Keurig brand. These work just fine. Never had a problem with them. So anyway, this is what I use. It takes a little bit more time to sit here and brew six of these K-Cups into this pitcher, but it's my favorite, so I do it. Okay, so these go into the freezer, and once they're frozen solid, I put them in an airtight container so I can just use them as needed. Okay guys, it's been 24 hours. Let's see what we got going on. Let me show you this. This is my big container full of the coffee ice cubes. And I just put them in a container with a sealed lid and store them in the freezer, obviously. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if I can dump this all over the place. <laughs> Preferably not. I give it a little shake because the coffee grounds kind of settle up here at the top and I've had it before where I've tried to pour it and they all like plop out at once and go all over the place. So I give it a little shake first. Let's see what kind of mess I can make. It's been 24 hours. Did I say that? Yeah, it has. <laughs> okay, paper towel. This is what I use to filter it. You can use a coffee filter if you want to or a cheesecloth. Oscar! Sorry, my dog's acting up. I just put my fingers in the middle of it like this. Kind of go like this with it to form it. I'm sorry if you hear all kinds of snorty sounds, but my pug is like right at my feet. <laughs> and I just stick it down in this. 
I didn't show you that, did I? It's just a fine mesh little basket thingy. It doesn't have to be in there perfect, just so it's somewhat flat. Okay, let's see. Can I manage not to dump this all over the place? Going good so far. Let it run down a little bit. See, this is why I like a paper towel because if you use a coffee filter, it takes forever for it to finish running through. Do a little dance while you wait. Do a little dance. Get in some exercise while you're waiting. I should have brought some finger puppets so I could like do a little finger puppet show. We're waiting on this. That looks like about the end of it. Just kind of squeeze it out. Toss this. Compost these, do what you want with these. Leftover ground. Those jars are both full, so I'm gonna have to get a different jar. So there's this step. Let's move on to making an iced coffee. Okay, so this is how I make it. I make mine very plain. You might want yours to be flavored. You can make frappuccinos out of these or frappes or whatever you want to call them. Not, I don't know, it's frappuccino hot. Whatever, I don't know. The icy slushy ones. You can make those. You can put in the terrainies or whatever kind of flavorings you like. In fact, I might try to pick up some of those. I tried them before, but I tried them in hot coffee and I've never used them for the iced coffee. So I may have to pick up some more of those and try maybe some hazelnut or some vanilla flavoring in this. But here we go. Let's get started. I make quite a bit of coffee concentrate by using the big pickle jar. <laughs> so I'm gonna have coffee, iced coffee to last me for days. Here we go. This is a one third cup. This is just how I make mine. You can make it as strong as you want do what you want with it, really. So there's that. That little bit left, I don't know. Maybe I'll just dump it in and make it extra strong. All right, here's these. These do get on your fingers. I usually put get them out with a spoon, but see, you might want to use a spoon or tongs to get those out. So I put in about four of these coffee ice cubes, put in a couple of regular ice cubes, and Half and half. I just use all these. All these brands. Don't measure it. I don't measure it. You can. I don't. I just go by how it looks. This is a pretty big jar for no more than I'm making, but I'm not really in the mood for a bunch of iced coffee right now. Liquid Splenda. I'm going to try two squirts and see how that works. Might need more. I don't know. Since I'm going to be drinking it fast, put a little bit of water in with it. If I wasn't going to be drinking it fast, I'd just put a couple more ice cubes in it. See, I actually made it too creamy. So it's a good thing I have this. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes it's not perfect. Because I don't measure the cream, but let's try another squirt. Let's give it a taste. Gotta put this on. You do this, you can take it with you. It's not gonna spill. Let's try it. Mmm, it's perfect. It is perfect. And that is so smooth. Such a smooth tasting coffee. It's not bitter at all. 
And like I said, you can use cheap coffee for this. You don't have to use anything expensive and it still tastes good. So yeah, let me know if you make it like this. If you don't, let me know how you make yours. I'm always open for suggestions. Make me a video, make me a video. That would be cool. Okay, thanks for watching, see ya.